Purcell just released a React tweet package and it's now the best way to add a tweet to your page. So this is an example and we're going to install this package to see how it works. So let's start from a clean slate here. I'm going to install this package, npm install react tweet. All right, so I installed it. So you only need one component here and it's called the tweet component. So I can import it like that. And you only need to provide one prop here, which is the ID of the tweet. So in the URL, you always have an ID here. So you can just copy that ID and then specify the ID prop with that number. I'm gonna save here, let's see what we get. So now you can see we have a tweet on the page. The benefits of using this package are the following. So the size is much less than if you use the Twitter iframe to embed a tweet on your page. It works with React server components so it can already fetch the tweet on the server and it works with Next.js, Feed and Create React app. We're using Next.js here. You can also make it light and dark mode. So we can wrap this in a div and it's just gonna look at the div's class name. So here we can say class name is dark. If we do this, it will actually become dark mode as you can see. Instead of class name, we can also use data theme and set that to dark. So now if I save here, it stays dark. If I change it to light, it becomes light mode again. Let's inspect this element. So if you inspect the React tweet element here, you can see it has a lot of CSS variables. Tweet color blue primary, tweet info line height, tweet body margin, and we can customize all of these CSS variables to customize the look of the tweet. For example, I can go to my globals.css file, I'm using Next.js here, and I can simply select this tweet element. It has a class of React tweet theme, and then we can change these CSS variables. So for example, we can change the tweet body font size to let's say that it's currently set to 1.25 RAM, but we can change it to let's say three RAM. If we save here, it won't work yet because of specificity. So we can give this some other class. I will just give it a class of test and let me change this to class name. So now the tweet is in an element with class name test. So I can give it some more specificity power. So I will also add dot test here. Now, if I save here, we can see that we have changed the body font size. This doesn't look so good, but this is how you would do it. It's using CSS modules under the hood. And if you wanna change this in a CSS module, module, you do have to add colon global around this here. So you would do something like this. Now it offers a better way to customize this tweet component. So that tweet component that we are using under the hood is using a lot of other components like tweet header, tweet container, tweet body, tweet media, tweet info. We can customize those individual components. And they show an example here of building our own tweet component without the reply button. So you can remove this reply button if you want to do that. So the way it works is you start with that tweet component that we also started with, and then you can provide those custom components so you can customize them and then you have the components prompt where you can pass those custom tweet components so a common customization that you want to make is to use the next.js image components for the images in the tweet because this avatar and maybe some media image they are not using the next.js image component by default because this package is also meant to be used outside Next.js, so create React app or feed apps. So if I inspect this avatar image here right now, this is not using the Next.js image component under the hood. And the same goes for a media image component here. So this is currently a video, but if this was an image, you would have the media image component. So let's see if we can customize that to actually use the Next.js image component. So let me undo this because we don't wanna have this huge font size. All right, so now it's normal again. All right, I'm gonna create a component folder for my entire app. And then we're gonna have some custom components for our React Tweet library. So I will actually create another folder here called React Tweet and then a file with tweet components.tsx. And the example that they give is the following. So you export a constant here, we call it components. And in there we have avatar image. We wanna replace that with the next.js image component. So we need to import that from next image. Same goes for the media image. We wanna replace that with the next.js image component and just spread the props on there. Now here, there is an issue here with TypeScript. It says tweet components is deprecated and it's saying use Twitter components instead. So I'm going to change this with Twitter components. And then we have a green quickly line and says something about the alt prop but the alt prop will be in the props here so we don't have to worry about that so i saved here and now we can import it here import components and then we can just provide that here for the components prop so that under the hood it will use our custom components now for avatar and media images all right so i will save here and let's see what we get all right so the tweet looks the same now if i inspect the avatar image you can see now that indeed it is using the next.js image component because now it also has source set and has these optimizations added to it and it didn't have that before that's a really nice way of adding tweets to your project. Now, if you want to become a professional React Next.js developer, check out my course on React and Next.js. Make sure you've mastered the fundamentals, both JavaScript as well as CSS. I have courses on them both. Check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next one. Bye.